the mega main fight we got on the Waleem or the Joshua Waleem stacked heavyweight fight card. We got Deontay Wilder versus Joseph Parker. Yeah, nobody's seen that one coming, man. Because, you know, throughout the whole year, with talks of Deontay Wilder fighting Andy Ruiz. They were going back and forth and calling each other scared. And, you know, the fight never came about, you know. And then you heard of chatter of Anthony Joshua potentially being the next fight for Wilder. Nothing never came out of it. And now here we are. Joshua is fighting on the same fight card with Wilder, which is rather interesting, which, again, this should be an indicator of something to come. Usually, lots of times when you see dudes fighting on the same card, they're going to probably be running into each other real soon uh, after that. Or sometimes you'll see dudes fight and they already fought each other, but then they end up on the same fight card, you know, stuff like that. But usually when you see this and these dudes never fought and they're on the same fight card, usually it's an indicator of something to come. But we'll talk about that later. Anyway, we got Deontay Wilder versus uh, Joseph Park. Now, um, on the surface, man, to Deontay Wilder fans, they're going to look at this thing and say, well, yo, he smokes, he smokes Parker, man. And Deontay Wilder pretty much came out and was like, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna put him to sleep. But look, um, I got a lot of questions uh, about Wilder, bro. Personally, I got I got questions, man. Because listen, he fought three hard fights with the with uh, Tyson Fury. Those last two fights he fought with Fury took a lot out of Deontay Wilder, man. A lot. Those fights took a lot out of him, bro. He got busted up pretty bad in the third fight. The second fight, I, I don't know. I think he got beat up worse in the second fight, man. But he got busted up really bad. His eardrum was... I mean, dude, this is heavyweight. He's taking a, he took a pound in, in two fights against a 280-pound dude, just punching him, just, just dropping him, continuously dropping him. Tough dude. Tough. Good chin, though. He took a lot of them shots, got back up. But yo, how much, how much does that take out of you, bro? How much can that take out of a fighter? These are heavyweights, man, right? So you got, you got a, a Joseph Parker, a experienced dude, fought, got a way better resume than Wilder. Yeah, Wilder fans, he does have a better resume than Deontay Wilder. I know y'all like to hear that. That's just what it is. But let's get into it, though. Let's get into the tail of the tape, man. We got Deontay Wilder, man. Forty-three wins. Two losses, one draw, 42 big wins by knockout. Been knocked out twice, and those two knockouts came at the hands of Tyson Fury. He has a 97% knockout ratio. We already know what type of power he bring with that right hand missile. That is undisputed. Nobody could ever take that away from Deontay Wilder. But, you know, if you're going to be honest about Wilder, bro, Let's be real. Like his competition started really intensifying when he fought Luis Ortiz, man. From Luis Ortiz on up. Or you can even, you know, Chris Ariola was an okay strap, but I'm talking about real fighters, heavy hitters, dudes with some with some defense, some skills. That started at Luis Ortiz, man. That's 2018. So all these fights he done had before that, from Bermains to Verne, under that. A lot of these dudes, nobody, you know, they weren't, you know, really big people or big names or they weren't really what we would call nobodies. You know, they were just fighters, bro. They wasn't really making no real noise like that. Not all of them. Not a whole lot of them wasn't. So he started fighting some real comp. Then he got there with Fury and and, and the rest is history, bro. Um, he did knock out Robert Lanius. He knocked him out in 2022. Uh, Wilder, he has not been active, bro. He hasn't been active. He hasn't fought since 2022. I don't like that, you know, because I'm like, listen, take a fight for somebody, bro. Fight somebody. You came off of two losses, two big knockouts where you got beat severely. And, and you came back, he came back and he fought. He came back and he fought um, Robert Lanius and... 
he ended up knocking him out in the first round. That wasn't, that's not showing me much, bro. I want to see more. I don't know what his chin is looking like. I don't know none of that. So none of us knows that. Robert Lanius didn't didn't put Wilder to the test. He didn't put him to the test. So I don't know, you know, since he fought, he fought Helenius in 2022. He was off for a whole year after that Fury loss up until he fought Robert Helenius. So he wasn't doing much. He wasn't fighting. Then he fought him, and then he don't fight again until almost another year. Uh, uh, what's that? He not. It's a year. He's been out of the ring a whole on the whole of the year after that. So him fighting Helenius, it was knocking a little bit of rust off. This, I mean, a flake of rust, bro. He, I mean, come on, that fight didn't do anything for Deontay Wilder, man. So, and then on top of that, it's not like he was fighting constantly, getting. Getting some fights in. Two or three fights. Four fights last year. He fought nobody at all this year. He fought once last year. That's not good. In my opinion. So he fights Joseph Parker. Okay. Um, Wilder is a fighter that, you know, um, he's trying to develop his skill. Malik Scott is trying to help him. Uh, he has a he has a, a devastating jab, too. A lot of people don't really like to talk about his jab. His jab can hurt you as well. Um... He has a good chin. Um, his footwork is not really the best. He has really small legs. <laughs> you know what I mean? They call him chicken legs and shit like that. But um, for whatever Deontay Wilder is, that is how he fights. You know what I mean? I never talk about his fighting style. And they talk about how he's a, he does things wrong, and, but that's how he fight. Okay, every no fighter does everything correctly, man. Not a, not not at all. Okay, so that's the way he fights. I don't take that away from Wilder. He fights how he fights. And up until recently, it's been working for him, right? So that's that's him. He feels comfortable fighting like that. You got to understand, he started fighting late. He, he's not like one of these boxers that's been fighting when he was five years old. He hasn't. He started when he was, what, 18, 19, something like that? So that's, that's pretty old, you know, to be learning how to box, man. So... Give him his credit. I give him his credit for where it's due, man. So when people say, "Yo, know, wow, they fought like he can't, he can't do this right in the ring," but you, bro, he just started late, bro. He's he not. He, you can't expect him to be on the same level as these other dudes been fighting since they was babies. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. So, with that being said, let's move on. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, he has a six foot seven height, eighty three inch arm reach. So, Wilder. Uh, is, has extremely long arms and he's I don't know how old is Wilder 30 I think he's like 32 years old something like that 31 32 but he has extremely devastating power he's even knocked down the, the elite dudes he's been fighting so it don't matter if he was a so-called scrub or if you top notch dude he's gonna you're gonna drop he's gonna drop you or knock you out one way or another and nobody yet i don't think any of his fighters have yet to not be dropped or stopped All right so even tyson fury right so that should tell you something about how serious his power is now moving on to joseph parker um he's a vet in the game okay he doesn't have as many fights as Wilder. Damn there, though. But he's more experienced, meaning he's been in there with different styles of fighters. He has the better resume. All right, so that counts for something with me. He's 33 wins, three losses, 23 wins by knockout, and one loss by knockout. And that came against Joe Joyce in 2022. Since then, he has uh, knocked out two people. Fight got Opolo and Simon Keane. Don't know who the hell those people is, but he's managed to get two of, two of his last fights was knockouts. This year, while uh, Joseph Parker has two fights already in. The, this Wilder fight is his third fight. So Joseph Parker has been busy. He's been he's been busy. He's 31 years old, six foot four with a 76 inch arm reach. So smaller dude than Deontay Wilder with a 69 percent knockout ratio. Uh, pretty good puncher. Not the biggest puncher, but that is some pop to deal with, okay? Now, 
I want to look up something real quick. Let me look up Robert Helladius. I want to check and see what kind of power Robert Helladius is rocking with. Let, let me just check something real quick. All right, Robert Helladius had a 65% knockout ratio. So he his his power his record is almost his his wins is almost on point with Joseph Parker's wins and his and so is his KOs. So they're right there in the same power range and stuff like that. But I got Joseph Parker here as uh people not gonna oh, he's not alive though. He, he has a chance, bro. He does have a chance in this fight. I don't know why y'all gonna say, no, he don't. He's gonna get knocked out in the first round, just like all the rest of them. Just like Hilladius. Joseph Parker is not Robert Hilladius, bro. Joseph Parker is not Robert Hilladius, man. So don't you can't do that. Don't say that. That's taken away from Joseph Parker. Alright. Joseph Parker is gonna scrap it out with you. He's gonna fight with you. He has better fundamentals than Deontay Wilder. He's been solid, bro. He's been he had a pretty solid chin, you know, um, Joseph Parker. Now will his chin hold up to a Deontay Wilder's um right hand? Hey, not many people has <laughs> withstand that right hand, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. So uh this should be a little interesting because like I said, Wilder has not been fighting. He's not been active. He has one fight in damn near two years. He has not been active. Joseph Parker has been active. He's fought twice this year. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is going to be his fourth fight. He fought three times already this year. He fought Jack Massey in the beginning of the year. So Joseph Parker has been extremely active this year. This is going to be his fourth fight. Fourth fight this year. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. While this has not been active, y'all keep. Y'all better keep that in mind. So how does this fight go? Yeah, I ain't gonna want to hear this. This is how I think this is gonna go. Joseph Parker, his last loss was in 2022. He got knocked out by Joyce. And that, he took shots from Joyce for a whole fight until the 11th round. Came back from that, won a UD, and then got two knockouts after that. All of that is in 2023. You got Deontay Wilder he's up against. A severely hard puncher. Wilder has not been active for years. He's been beaten. He got beat down badly in two fights with Fury. That took a lot out of him. We don't know how his chin is. We don't know how his stamina is yet. He only went one round with Robert Hellanius. That's not telling me anything. I don't care what you do, say while he does have a great right hand, a devastating right hand, a devastating jab, Joseph Parker has the experience. He's been severely active this year. That counts for something with me. All right. If he don't clip, he's going to catch Parker at some point in this fight. But does Deontay Wilder still, he still has the power. We saw it against Hellenius. But what if Wild, what if Parker gets in there and survives out box, start boxing and moving around a lot, and Wilder gets tired, starts swinging for the hills, starts swinging for the fences, and gets clipped by something that, um, you know that he normally would have took if before the Fury fight, but he ended up getting he gets wobbled by Joseph Parker at some point in that fight late because his chin can't hold up anymore. I know, you know, a lot of y'all gonna, you gonna rebel, what you talking about? You don't know, just saying, bro. Just telling y'all like how it is. So, if Deontay Wilder can't clip Joseph Parker with something big, which I probably think he would, I think Joseph Parker will beat him uh, by decision. All right. But the way, you know, the re in reality, uh, Wilder's speed is going to play a factor too. He still got that speed, and he crack. If he cracks Joseph Park with something big, he's he's gonna he's he's probably gonna be lights out. You know, but what if he can't? And then he outboxes Wilder to a win, uh, to a loss. He beats him on the cards. 
so this one to me is rather interesting, man. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a good prediction for it because we already know Wilder has that equalizer, but we know he hasn't been busy for all these years and he hasn't been fighting. Joseph Parker, he's been busy. He's gotten knockouts. All right, so... Hey, I'm gonna go off the limb, and I'm gonna have to say I gotta I had to I gotta see more from Wilder, but unfortunately he about to fight Parker next month. I'm going with Joseph Parker by decision. Just I'm just saying, and um, I know a lot of y'all not gonna agree with me, and and neither is Vegas, you know. But if I was y'all, I would still put a little bit of money on Joseph Parker, just for the decision win, just in case. Wow, they can't nail him with something flush. Um, or even if he does nail Wilder and, and, and Joseph Parker can somehow withstand his power. Uh, I don't see how, but, you know, that's why this makes it a little interesting. A lot of things playing a factor here. The the inactivity of Deontay Wilder, the activity of uh, Joseph Parker, the speed of Wilder. Can Wilder still handle a punch? Um, all of that, I'm factoring it all in. Um, so, I'm going against the grain. I'm going to say Joseph Parker by decision. Pretty bold statement, huh? But anyway, I'm as bold as they get. This is Rebel Life Boxing, man. I want to know what y'all think. What's y'all prediction? I'll catch y'all later on the next one.